All right, so this video is for the trombone and euphonium players. We're going to talk a little bit about our embouchure and our mouthpiece placement. So when we say embouchure, that's E-M-B-O-U-C-H-U-R-E, it's a French word. It's what we talk, what, the word we use to talk about the way we shape our mouths to play an instrument. Okay, so the brass embouchure is fairly simple and straightforward, but there's a few things that you have to always do to make sure it works. Okay, so it's basically going to be, you're going to keep your lips where they naturally are, and you're going to hold them to your teeth. Because we're going to be blowing into our instrument, we're going to hold them slightly against our teeth, so when we blow, we're not going, instead we're just holding them still. So today's assignment is going to be, can we hold our mouth still, while putting our mouthpiece in the correct and appropriate place. So you know, try it on your own today. Uh, so I, I suggest you find either a handheld mirror or a mirror in your bedroom or maybe even the bathroom to do this in so you can see yourself and see if you're doing things the, the right way. All right, so I'm going to take my mouthpiece right here. This is a mouthpiece that works for either trombone or euphonium. Okay, the, the, the size of the shank on the bottom is the same for both. Here, let me do that. If I get out of the way, it'll focus. Uh, maybe... Ta-da! Okay, there's a few things we got to make sure we talk about. This inside part of the rim is what's going to cover our mouth. All right, so first I'm going to make sure that my teeth aren't closed. You can't play if your teeth are closed. So one way to see about how far your teeth should be open is uh, if you open your mouth and close your teeth on your pinky. But don't bite it. That's weird. About that far open our teeth. All right, but our teeth are open, our lips are closed, so I'm just going to put a little bit of, of like, muscle into holding them against my teeth. Then I'm going to place the mouthpiece on my face. Now, I'm going to show you where it goes right now, then I'll talk about so your, your thought process. So it goes right here. If you can't really see, from the right angle. Most of the mouthpiece is covering the top, my top lip. So if I were to draw a line on this mouthpiece where my lips go through, if this pin is my lips, the middle of my lips, instead of being exactly half and half on both parts, the middle of my lips is kind of right here. Okay? You don't really want that inside rim to be above the line where your lip meets your skin. So that's, that's one of our first, our, our main things, is make sure it's not so high up, it's like right here. That wouldn't work. Both lips are inside the rim, but more of our top lip. So that would be half and half. That would be half and half, that's too low. About 75% on the top. Okay? And you'll also notice, I'm holding it by using my pointer finger, my middle finger, and my thumb down at the bottom of the shank. If you hold it somewhere else when you play, you're going to be putting it at the wrong angle and the wrong pressure. So I'm going to make that embouchure again. I'm going to put my lips still against my teeth. Get my mouthpiece. I'm going to hold still while I move it to my face, making sure I put it in about the right, the right position. One other thing to note is that you want it to be angled a little bit down away from your face. So notice I wasn't doing this. We're angled down somewhere between like 5 and 10 degrees. Angled down. And if you push it against your face with a little bit of pressure, you're going to mostly feel it pushing your bottom lip. It's not that hard. And your top lip is just going to be basically just sitting there resting. So we talked about our embouchure today. That's holding our mouth still. And our mouthpiece placement. So do this in the mirror a few times. Tomorrow you're going to submit a short video of you doing this exercise to make sure that it's working correctly. Because if you can do this, then we can move on to the next step and we can play. Again, at any point if you have questions or you don't think it feels right or it's not going the way you think it should go, send an email, send, uh, go ahead and call my office, send, send a voicemail, a message, anything you need to to get a hold of me and I will make sure we schedule some one-on-one -on -one Zoom time to make sure you're caught up. All right. Good luck, everyone.